Hi, welcome to this week's product review with John and Lou. I'm John Fluke. I'm playing Eleanor to my Franklin Delano Roosevelt is my good buddy, Dr. Lou Graham. Lou, this week, let's talk about carriage detection and, and changes in that whole paradigm. And, and I got to tell you, this is a paradigm that's got to change. And I'm really mm -hmm. excited to have this discussion with you because this changes protocols in both of our offices and to the 100,000 dentists out there. So let's start with in the, let's say old, old days, we'd yeah. we would use a spoon and an excavator yep. or a spoon excavator and an explorer to determine did we stop drilling, which was, it, and it's still today, so ridiculous based on how sharp your explorer is, yeah. or how sharp your spoon is, fine. Exactly. Then we went into the diagonal days. I have three of them in my office, a very valuable technology. Yes. But we've really moving on. So what I wanna focus on in this part of our time together mm -hmm. is technology for evaluating caries Absolutely. or caries prone areas. Sure, okay. Well, there's basically two types of devices nowadays, you know, from a digital standpoint. And they are the probe-based devices, which are like the Diagnodent, which you used similar to an Explorer. But the category really that we're moving into now that's really changing things up are the visual-based devices. And these are devices that take photos of the teeth, analyze those photos, and then give you an indication of is there decay present or not, and in some cases, even the depth of that decay. And so with that, so let's, let's take these devices. What information are they giving you in the pictures that is clinically affecting your decision-making process? Okay, well, there's two devices on the market right now. One of them is a device called Spectra from Air Techniques, and the other one is, uh, is an upgrade from Acteon. Acteon had a device that was on the market called Sopro Life. Right. And they have just now got FDA clearance on kind of the, the second generation of that that they call Sopro Care. And what these devices do is they shine a light on the tooth and the decay glows under that indication. And then when you take pictures and you, know, you freeze these pictures on the, the monitor in your operatory, right. you can then see the fluorescence of the decay and you can understand then where the decay is. And this also allows you to not only know where the decay is, but it allows you to understand you know, the amount based on the fluorescence that you see. Okay, so I gotta stop you yeah. and ask you this. So let's say you're taking out a deep cavity. Okay. Does this actually guide you when to potentially stop drilling? Yes, absolutely. Because not only are these you know, diagnostic devices that help provide you data on is there decay in this tooth or not you know, from a, a clinical exam standpoint, but you can also use these devices during your excavation procedures that allow you then to see, once again, down into the prep and see is there fluorescence there and, and when do we stop and that sort of thing. So you see this type of technology really involved in everyday uses like caries removal. Yeah, it's not just a hygiene device, although exactly. one thing I will say about Sopro Care, the, the newer Sopro device, is that it does have a hygiene mode that actually shows gingival inflammation as well as caries detection. So there, there are some reasons that this is going to be something important in hygiene, and you should have these in hygiene. But I think also you should use these devices in the actual operative dentistry aspect of what we're doing as the doctor every day as well. So in the past when I'd use Diagnodent yeah. to evaluate, because I think explorers are just ridiculous. Yeah. Okay, ridiculously poor. There are about three dental schools right now that I'm aware of that are moving away from even okay. teaching the sharp explorer diagnosis. So before I would do sealants in a tooth, yes. in a quadrant, we would always diagnose them to evaluate them. Yes. So now, obviously, that's a numeric one to 99. Mm -hmm. Tell me then, what are you seeing in these so that you can evaluate whether to drill using a fissurotomy burr, right. or a micro burr, or air abrasion? What are you looking at in these type of numbers? Well, with, with the Sopro Care, um, it's a, it makes a black and white photo and caries shows up as red. And so you can kind of gauge based on the width and, and the brightness right. of that, that red area, whether you, know, you want to seal or whether you want to go into the fissurotomy burr. Uh, the, the spectra from Air Techniques literally lays a, a colored map on top I've of seen the that. area. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it looks like weather radar. Right. And that definitely gives you, based on the different colors, you can tell how deep the lesion is. Okay, so I can see using this in multiple modes. Sure. Multiple modalities. Absolutely. Let's talk about recall exams. Okay. Patients come in, is that decay around a composite? Is that decay around a crown? Is that decay around an old amalgam? Right. How does it help there? 
Well, one of the problems with um, the probe-based devices is uh, the fluorescence of resin. Resin does fluoresce, and okay. resin can fool a diagnodent. A resin, or either whether it's a composite or a seal. Oh, totally. Yeah, can, can give you false positives. The light doesn't do that. The light literally shows you it's bacterial byproducts that fluoresce. So bacteria has to be there. Um, so we always come in from a hygiene standpoint. We'll go in and use some type of a system to clean the grooves out. You know, normally we'll go with baking soda, you know, and kind of blast the grooves out, get rid of all the plaque. Right. And then you can see the amount of stuff that's down in there. And, you know, based on what we see, then we make those decisions. And what's nice about this is it's data. It's not a device that says, you know, prep here or don't prep here. And you have to take into account, you know, how DMF of the patient, exactly. age, everything else, of course. Right, yeah. So, you know, it's just more data, but it allows you to do that. And then the other thing is, if you do have an area where you look at and think, you know what, I am not going to go into that. I'm going to, you know, monitor You that. could store it. Yeah, I don't like the word watch, right. but you store these pictures right. in your dental software. Exactly. And then you continue to take more right. pictures over time, and you can see, is it getting worse? Is it getting better? If you want to try remin therapy, then you can also monitor that and see, is the lesion getting smaller? So many possibilities. Exactly, yeah. so it's not just a device that says make a hole. It's right. a device that tells you monitor the patient and provide them with the optimum treatment that they need. And as we close this segment, I think the more information that we can gather on initial visits, recall visits, or during time of treatment, that's where these types of devices and future devices are going to really take the subjective nature out of, do I stop, do I drill, what do I do? I couldn't agree with you more, Eleanor. Oh, Franklin. With that, thanks so much for your time. More tips, tricks, and truth and product review in the next episode. Thanks for joining us.